though. So, um, I mean, if y'all want to maybe do that offline, I don't know if y'all have any dog in the Rule 22 at, or not, but. Hmm? I don't know. Is there a Jason Whitaker here? He was one of the people that, if, if not, then we won't bother with that part of it. <laughs> if he can't show up for it, then. Okay. They're what? Okay. Well, they can come in here <laughs> before him. Are you Jason Whitaker? I am. All right. Hello. How are you? Um, come on up to the podium. So I know you have just very recently filed a Rule 22, and I think we were going to have a hearing on Monday, but you maybe didn't get notice, so we had to move it to another day. Because obviously you need notice in order to be here for it. I was actually sitting right back there oh. when, when your assistant called me. I was sitting there. Okay. Well, anyway, we tried to reach you, and that's why it wasn't earlier is because we thought you. that you didn't have notice so sorry maybe i thought i even asked out loud but anyway it's for, here we are now um here. and i know that you want a um to film in some way well, here's uh, the thing is that yeah. we have already got a whole lot of people filming I'm and i'm gonna have um sylvia parks in in just a minute i don't know if she's here right now um what I am going to propose is essentially the same thing that I proposed with regard to um, Miss Bumpus, is that you all kind of be pooled media. Okay. Because um, we just already have so much going on. Not so, that work for you? Can I, can I express what I was seeking to do? Sure. I actually didn't want to. Well, first of all, my name is Jason Whitaker. Hello. I'm a member of the community. I'm a Morehouse graduate and actually a former classroom teacher at Cleveland Avenue Elementary School, well, uh, one of the schools they've been talking about. Thank you for about. that. Um, I do a podcast, and yeah. we've been live streaming and discussing this case. And I did not want to actually record anything. Oh, I wanted okay. to just be able to, if possible, because I had the Rule 22, be able to use my phone and just update on things that have happened in court. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. No filming, no no picture taking. Just being able to keep up with my the community that's watching this. Um, actually, I stream it from home, so they're watching it out from my house, and they just be able to say, "Hey, this is what's happened." Or if the audio goes out, say, "Hey, this is what you might not have heard," or anything of that nature. <laughs> we so don't it's say not, anything exciting when the audio goes no, out. Nothing, no, nothing exciting happens no, when the audio goes out. Um, so that's actually it. Okay. Well, friend. then you'll sit in the media row. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, because they're kind of different rules for the media phones. I will, and other I will follow phones. all the rules that okay. are given to me. That's fine. That's you fair? may do that. Yes. Okay. Do I need to give you back this to get it signed, or does the deputy just um, need to know? Um, we do it all electronically, so I'll just sit. But my understanding then is that you just want to be able to use your phone to and, and my laptop just, post, to, just essentially, but not to record in any. Nothing's recorded. Okay. Nothing's pictured. All right, we'll get one filed that gives you that permission. I appreciate. It. Thank all you so right. much, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, Miss, is it Parks? Will that work or just Miss? Okay, come on up. All right, so I know that you have been live streaming um, pretty much this entire trial, uh, and I'm sure probably the pretrial proceedings as well, and it came to both the court's attention and defense counsel's attention um, recently that you had been um, on your, what do you call those things that you do? It's not a podcast, it's, it's, or is it, do you still call it that? It is a podcast, okay. but it's... A video podcast. Video. Okay. okay. Anyway, we'll call it a podcast. Okay. That you had been, um, and I know that you say in your letter that you didn't reveal any personal identifying information, and I think that you did not reveal enough to actually identify any of the jurors, but you were referring to where different people sat and their race and gender and that is personally identifying information. And then you were giving them derogatory names. And you say in the letter that you provided to me this morning 
um, that you have always operated um, with great integrity, uh, that the content you share represents factual reporting, and that you do your reporting with the, and I'm, these are all quotes from yes. your letter, the utmost respect and integrity for all involved. Do you believe that any of those three statements that you made to me this morning is actually true about the names you were given those jurors? I just want to give you the names were movies that I like. And, you know, SpongeBob is my daughter's favorite cartoon. Do you think that those yeah, showed I, respect and integrity to the jurors? Well, I didn't think it were bad names at all. Glasses, nose, um, no, I didn't think it was bad names. I so, all the names. The utmost respect and integrity? I think it depends on the individual. Well, to me, I felt it was utmost respect. Well, I do not feel that. Oh. That seems like the kind of thing that a kind of mean person does on the playground in grade school. You think so? I do. I don't think that shows the least bit of respect or integrity to the jurors or to the court system. So if you are going to, and, and let me ask you this, you talked in your um, letter about being media and freedom of the press. Do you consider yourself to be press and media and journalism? I consider myself being a content creator I create content for the community okay. and give information. Um, as far as journalism, I didn't go to school. I've taken well, some I mean, classes you don't and to, things like but... that. But I, I mean, the information I believe is very vital for the community. I, I don't disagree. I mean, this is court. It's one of the most important things we do in our country. Um, but you say my role is to deliver news and information. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, do you, to that extent, consider, and you say you want to represent factual reporting. So do you, to that extent, consider yourself to be media, even if it's non-traditional media? Yeah, I would think I would because I've been, I've taken courses of like okay. etiquette and things like okay. that. But as far as, um, okay. and then, and the other thing too, with my channel, it's more like some sort of like easy going friendly type of thing where people don't feel like it's just uh, i'd love for you to keep it friendly okay that would be great okay and i will i will never use the names anymore if it offend anybody because i that was never my intention to offend anyone okay i was just using names of movies that i like twister um spongebob right. well and those you know things like i that. mean i i realize that if you're trying to create content that fills you know the entirety of every day that sometimes you probably have to reach out somewhere to whatever pops in your mind at the time. But I would ask that before you do that, that you actually do keep in mind that this is a court proceeding. Mm -hmm. And I know a whole lot of people seem to be watching this as entertainment, but this is not entertainment for any of the people involved here. This life. is very serious. And it does a disservice, I think, to everybody. Mm -hmm when the coverage is flippant in the way that I think that was, okay? Mm -hmm. And I know you've got every right to do that if you want to. I would just prefer that you not. I won't. And I am going to um, give you this. Um, it's a code of ethics that the Society of Professional Journalists follows as a guideline. Okay. And, I mean, you're not, you're not required to abide by it. It's not the law. But it might be helpful for you to take a look at it I and just, will. you know, use it as a guideline. I definitely will. Okay. I so if will. you can do that for me and um, try to be respectful and treat this with integrity, then you may come back in and um, continue to live stream. Definitely. All right. I appreciate it. Thank I'm you, Anna. Hand this up to you. Okay. All right, I don't know if y'all have had an opportunity you now. We can get back to our um, issues with, or potential issues with some of the exhibits that may be used during the cross. Yes, Your Honor. And All with right. the court's permission, may I maintain my seat because I'm looking at You may. So 